I hope you don't mind. I invited some friends. The Crown of Shadows is one of the coolest things in the comic book, and it's something that you know I just had never seen before, and that's part of what inspired us about wanting to do this. To do Lock and Key is that you know, Joe Hill invented some things that were just amazing, and then Gabe Rodriguez drew them. So this idea that you could bring shadows to life and turn them into monsters was an incredibly exciting challenge for us. But it's hard to do that on a VFX level, on a television schedule and budget. <laughs> Fortunately, we had um, Vincenzo Natali, who was our director, who is a former storyboard artist turned director, and he's an incredibly visually brilliant. He did incredible storyboards for this. So that was really the first part of the translation. We, we talked a lot with Vincenzo about how we would do this, and then he drew it out in pictures. I think having those storyboards was also really helpful for our cast so that they understood what they were reacting to and what to visualize when there's that incredible sequence of Tyler and Bodhi going through the house, trying to hold up lights to keep the shadows away from them, being able to look at Vincenzo's storyboards and understand what it, you know, exactly how that sequence was going to play out. And it was a great collaboration between us and Vincenzo to even dial into what are those shadows going to actually look like, how much are they going to look like monsters, how much are they going to be sort of this unformed shape. Where is the key? Lysla de la Vera, who plays Dodge, um, even though she's in a shadow form and is a visual effect, she was on set for her big confrontation with Bodhi so that Bodhi could react to her and I think that that really helped. Ah!